hi beautiful people welcome back to my channel if it's your first time seeing my face you're highly highly welcome thank you for stopping by thank you for clicking on this video and to my ever sweet returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back and for watching my videos i appreciate you guys so much guys you can see i am really 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 excited hey god i am excited super excited we have new people in our house we have new subscribers and i can only say thank you for the minute feed to click on that subscribe button it means a lot to me thank you so much guys so from the title of the video you will know that i should be excited <laughs> like guys i'm super super excited i'm grateful to god that i actually started this journey with this god on my side so something happened i think two weeks ago yeah um chantel Ayan actually put a very big youtuber yeah she put up um a a post on her community and she's told us that we small youtubers like YouTubers that are yet at their threshold should put down their YouTube name and what their content is all about. And guys, I was already late to that post because I saw at least over 50 names already. And I was telling my husband, it's too late. Should I? And he was like, why not? Just give it a try. And luckily enough, I put down my name and what my um, channel is all about. And to my greatest surprise, <laughs> I heard my name amongst others and she shouted me and she pulled my name. Guys, I am going to be linking that video where she shouted me out um, down in my description box. Please, I beg you. I know I have loyal, lovely subscribers here. Please head over to Chantel's channel and go and tell her thank you. They are coming from Noble Mom TV that you are here to support her. Please, I beg you. If 10 or 20 people from my channel goes to subscribe, trust me, it will, she will want to do more for us. We that we are still small. So yes, guys, I am super, super grateful, Chantel. I know and I know that you're going to watch this video. Yes, I am grateful. God bless you. And yeah, please, if you're coming from Chantel's channel, please indicate in this video and tell me that you're coming from there and trust me i'm going to be supporting for those ones that have already indicated trust me i have gone there and i've supported them so if you're coming from there please comment down in the comment section and let me know yeah chantel i'm super super grateful for what you did for me my family says thank you god bless you greater heights your youtube channel hmm, is already blowing up so yeah so with the title of it you know i know that i'm going to be doing a mom tag that was inspired by nello Ikeke. Guys, there's a short story about this lovely woman. Yeah, in the course of my early stage of my... I'm still very new, but at that point, I think it was around two or three months, I actually wrote on most of the big YouTubers' channel uh, comment section, and I told them, please go check my channel out and all of that good stuff. I told her, and Nello KK was one of the YouTubers that I wrote to, and guys, it was less than five minutes. If I'm not exaggerating, less than five to ten minutes, Nello actually subscribed to my channel. And this her subscription has been making me bring out better content. I know that I'm not there yet, but anytime I go to my subscription and just see her name there, it makes me want to do better. Nello, I am grateful. I'm thankful for what you did for me. It looks small, but my people will say, Ekele Dike Nankomi. Or make us that's when you thank a mighty person in what the person has done he will do another one so i am grateful and please my lawyer my lawyer subscribers i beg of you i am pleading please head over to nello's channel i'm going to be putting the link of this mom tag she did please go and tell her thank you you're coming from noble mom tv and you're here to support her i'll be checking it out Please, I know my own royal treats, me, me. I know I don't want to call names. Please, you push your head over to our channel and go and tell her thank you. If we have like 20 of us from this channel that goes there to thank Nello and Chantel, trust me, they want to do better. They are Portaco based YouTubers and these people are big. Nello is all, almost at 50,000 subscribers, guys. So for her to 
to actually click on the subscribe button on this channel means a lot to me and it has made me as i said i am doing better and better i'm improving by the day and to everyone that has found this channel interesting click on that subscribe button my god will bless you you guys always put smile anytime i pick up the camera and i want to film i just have the joy that people will come and watch me god bless each and every one of you and without talking too much because <laughs> i know i've talked too much let us dive into today's video so guys there are a list of questions that are that i actually wrote down here uh as i said nello did it with another youtuber bimi a another favorite of mine she, they did it together it was a collaboration so i just picked it and as i'm a mom why not i want to do the mom tag and yeah so my first question i'll be looking down because i actually jotted it in my book so i'll just be listening i think there are about 20 questions but i'm going to just run through it really fast so the first one is how old were you when i had my baby how old was i when i had my first baby so i was in my 20s when i had my first baby yes i was in my 20s when i had my first baby so the second one is what is the hardest thing about being pregnant guys i did not have um a difficult pregnancy yes i did not have a difficult one but i would say the only hard thing about being pregnant was towards the end of the pregnancy sleeping was a really really big problem for me yeah because i had a huge bomb yeah so sleeping and another thing this hard bone i was having hard bone when i eat late because i say i eat late when i eat late at night yeah sleeping was a major problem for me because I was not really comfortable my bum was really really big <laughs> yeah that was one of the hardest thing about being pregnant aside from that i did not have so much because i told you guys already that i actually worked from the day i knew i was pregnant up till like two days before i gave i put to bed so i was really, really strong and all of that but at night when i want to sleep it was a challenge it was towards actually towards the end of my pregnancy so that was the hardest thing about being pregnant so the number three one is can you think of any good thing you enjoyed during during these nine months <laughs> um anything i can remember that i enjoyed yeah being loved by family like my <laughs> my in-laws we always call me and tell me yeah well, do this yeah well, don't do this don't stress yourself my in-laws we are so sweet my mother will always call me 24 hours nay you are now in your second trimester uh, because not third trimester you need to do this they were so so caring and my husband hey that one he will tell me hey don't sleep like this you you always bring good information of how to sleep because i had challenges of like sleeping it was really, really difficult yeah so the care the, because i'm a bro for those who does not know i'm in north cyprus so back home the love was so so much yes so that was the thing i actually enjoyed during that pregnancy yeah and my number fourth one is in my opinion were all the things you heard about childbirth accurate or way off Every pregnancy has, every woman has her own um, challenges and yeah, there are some things I heard like that's um, heartburn and all of that that yeah, some of them were actually accurate but obviously not all, obviously not all, we are all different, yes, they, we are all different so not all, not all of them, not all of them were accurate anyway so yes, to my number five, would you handle childbirth differently? if you could redo it <laughs> guys <laughs> honestly speaking when Nelo was doing this and she said she does not like pain i said it seems this woman is my twin. she's from newitso like this woman is my twin i do not like pain no. <laughs> in as much as i stress myself a lot i do not like pain and i don't think see childbirth god has programmed each and every one of us the way we are going to put to bed so for me the way I gave birth, I gave birth through CS and I will not redo it. Mm -mm. I It was good. 
people that know me, my friends, Glory can testify. After two or three days, Mommy Amara, she's a living witness. After two or three days, I was up on my feet. I was doing things back because I had literally little or no help because you know we are abroad, everybody have things to do. So I was on my feet and yeah, I gave back to CS and I don't think I will <laughs> I will have it differently. I don't like pain, yeah. So the number sixth one is what would you advise for someone who is about to have a baby? Just make sure that you utilize that period that you've not popped out. Trust me, once the baby comes out, you are going to be busy. That is my advice for you. Enjoy that nine months. Do all you want to do that nine months because once the baby is here, <laughs> you will literally want the day to times you want 48 hours in a day uh -huh. so enjoy your nine months now that you've not popped out uh -huh. so that's my advice for you and enjoy the love yeah enjoy sleep well make sure you sleep because once the baby is here <laughs> little or no sleep that is my advice for you so my number seventh one is what has been the hardest thing about being a mom hey i can write a book on this trust me guys i can write a book on this you know we that we are we are um abroad we don't have lots of help little help because you know everybody is up and doing here and being a mom and being alone my husband had to go to work and i will be with my baby at night i do not sleep in the morning i'm doing everything by myself i had no help being a mom <laughs> A first time mom was really really challenging i must tell you guys that like <laughs> it was challenging waking up at night taking care of your baby alone not seeing him alone my husband literally goes to work like half of the day is gone when he comes back he's already tired and he can just do little for me at night it was difficult but i'm grateful my baby is going to be turning one next month and i can just say thank you jesus he gave me the strength to do it and i'm grateful to god so number eight is what was the most surprising thing about being a mom okay what is the most surprising thing about being a mom it was not surprising but i think i think not having your your full-time sleep you know i think that's the surprising thing not sleeping as usual it's surprising that so at night you can literally be awake all through and in the morning you are back to normal it was surprising to me that moms, we are super, we are just heroes. We are, we are, we are just strong. We are strong women. So the number nine, the number ninth one will be, what is the best memory you have involving your baby? I have one and the best memory is when <laughs> he's still very young, but whenever he smiles at people that that boy is so loving when he sees people he just wants to hug them kiss them there was even one person that said my kisser he kisses whenever he just loves people that memory of the way he just oh my god and our bonding time is memory too but i just like the way he accepts people you understand so yeah i hope this answers this question yeah he's still young anyway so the number 10 one is what was the exciting milestone guys the day my son rolled to the other side my husband took a video of it if i if we see the clip i'm going to be inserting it here the day he just rolled you know he's he rolled the other side it was a milestone that he can't actually move yeah that was the milestone we can never forget that i hope i see that clip and i insert it here what is the number number 11 i think here yeah. number 11 what is the worst thing your child has done ah what is the worst thing my child has done he has not done anything my child is lovely he has not done anything whatever he does is his normal he has not done anything my child has not done anything wrong so the number 12 one is what habit did you wish your child did not have as I said, my baby is going to be one next month. So the habits, I think, yeah, he loves his pacifier a lot. He loves that pacifier a lot. And I think that habit, I don't like it. And I'm slowly, slowly 
getting him off that pacifier. I don't like that habit and <laughs> we are going we are working on it. I don't like that pacifier and I'm working on it. Yes. So number what habit of theirs or my child most makes you proud? What habit? As I said, the way he welcomes once I open the door, the way my son will smile at the person. I'm sure that people that are watching that in North Cyprus, the way he will smile and hug you and just sometimes he just kiss people that he does not know. That habit, oh my goodness. He smiles, the way he laughs. Once you make him happy, he will just laugh. I love that a lot about him. The number 13 one is um, I think 13th I've answered number 14 if I'm not mistaken Yeah, number 14. Do you share any similarities with your child both physical and personality? Ah! Hey, don't mind my sweats. Ah. Do I share? Okay, I'll be setting our picture side by side. He literally looks like me like you can't steal that baby away from me. He is my own. Whoever steals him says, ah, this is Jennifer's baby. He will look alike. Like, he's my other, he's my twin. <laughs> so I'm going to put in our picture. We look same. For people that know, they know that he looks so much like me. And personality, I'm still checking anyway. So he's still growing. But physically, we look just alike. This face is what my son cries. I will put a picture on it on the screen for you guys. So, the number 15th one is Where would you like your child to be in 10 years? Obviously, he'll be in his sec He'll be entering secondary school Doing well for himself Making mommy proud Yes, he'll make mommy proud When he grows up and sees this video He'll know that he has to make me proud Yes, in 10 years, he'll be in his high school He'll be making mommy proud Getting all A's Yes, I'm making daddy more proud because my husband does not joke with that boy he does not so number 16 one is what is something that having a child taught you patience 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 having a child has taught me how to be very patient number 17 is did you imagine that you will become a mom at the age you became a mom obviously I always imagine even I wanted it earlier, but you know God's time is the best so I knew I was supposed to be a mom It was taking time, but <laughs> you know God's time now. I knew I was supposed to be a mom. Yes So number 18 one is describe your child in a single sentence He's the most loveliest child you can ever meet the most loveliest child in the whole wide world Yes, number 19 is what is the most rewarding thing about being a mom the fact that your this is my own <laughs> that fact that it's this is my own child and they call you a mother now you people know my name on youtube noble mom tv that noble mom that you call me gives me the joy if you don't give me anything just call me noble mom i'm good to go being a mother seeing this boy that he is my own just gives me all the joy that I need in this life. And yeah, the last one is, that's number 20. Yeah, 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 number 20. How have you changed as a person since becoming a mom? As I said, I, I am more protective of my child. I'm more protective of my family. Whatever means, um, whatever means so much to me, I don't joke with it. You see, my child and my husband, I am very protective. And if you are my friend, a very loyal friend, trust me, I protect you. I stand by you. And I, I it has just made me become more confident. Oh my God, why will I even forget this? Becoming a mom has made me become so confident of myself. I now talk like talk present myself more. It has given me the sense of belonging. Becoming a mom is just the the, the, the most rewarding thing you can ever think of in this life. That is why my mommy will always say, God, please bless every woman with at least one because it will give you the sense of belonging. And I'm going to be ending with this and I will say, everybody that, every woman that is seeking the face of God, <laughs> I'm going to share how my son came. He came when I did not know he was going to come. 
if you are watching this mom tab and you are looking at me from the bottom of my heart i am saying that this day whatever wish you want to conceive and you are waiting on god today this month of June will not pass you by. I know the God that I serve and I speak to him. Because of I made this mom tag, is another different. See, your case is settled. Knowing and watching this video, your case is settled. You will bear your own child. You will carry your own child. Because you to give you the sweetest sense of belonging you can ever wish for. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up. And I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye, guys. Love you guys.